With the bar stride looming, there is controversy surrounding the cost of a contingency plan now in place should the BART workers go on strike next month. The walkout could happen if a deal isn't reached with management within the next 14 days. Today, the Metropolitan Transportation Commission spokesperson gave Pronforce Hazik Madyun the breakdown of how much money has been set aside to mitigate the effects from a potential BART work stoppage. The plan to mitigate the pain of another BART strike will come at a hefty cost, says MTC spokesperson John Goodwin. Well, we're talking about a uh, total of a little over $21 million. Uh, most of this was committed in June, and uh, by far the uh, the biggest part of that are uh, what are known as uh, state transit assistance funds that otherwise would go to BART. So it's essentially uh, taking money that otherwise would go to BART if they were operating. In the event that they're not operating, those funds could be redirected to other transit operators. Those other transit operators include ferries and AC Transit. However, ATU spokesperson Antoinette Bryant questions why BART management is willing to spend $21 million on a contingency plan instead of using that money in negotiations. It says to me that they're not interested in bargaining with us. If they have that money, let's put it on the table, let's see what's workable, and let's get a deal. Although $21 million has been approved to facilitate a protracted strike contingency plan, which includes 200 charter buses. BART spokesperson Rick Rice says at this point, only the deposit on those charter buses has been paid. The cost for that, the cancellation fees, could be up to $900,000. That is all that we have in a contingency plan at the moment. In Oakland, Hazik Medyun, Cron for News.